All right, welcome to the first tutorial here. This is for day number two of our 3D printing and design class. Uh, today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at making a keychain. So, hopefully, you've gone through the tutorial lessons and are familiar with how to do some of the motions. I'm going to try to make this tutorial using an iPad, as most of you will probably have access to an iPad. I will say, however, if you have access to a computer, it works a lot nicer and using a mouse allows you to have a little more speed and proficiency in what you're making. So here's how we're going to go about creating our design. Obviously I've logged in. Right now I'm logged in as my son Caleb to give you a demonstration. I'm going to click on create new design and that is going to make a new design page. Now in the upper left hand corner you can see right now this page is called Cool My Moo and uh, I don't want it to be called that. I want it to be called instead my name and in this instance I'm using Caleb so it'll be Caleb space and then keychain. So once I do Caleb keychain if I put away my uh, keyboard here on the iPad it changes the name. Now Caleb's keychain is going to be a rectangular shaped keychain so I'm going to select the box and bring out a box. Now I can use my finger or I'm using an Apple pencil to resize and rescale this box to different sizes. So I think I want a 30 by 80 box. Now if you kind of slip a little bit, like I wanted a 30 by 80, um, I can actually tap inside the 29 and it brings up my keyboard and then I can actually type in 30 here instead. And sometimes it'll glitch a little bit like this where I'll have to do it twice. That's not a big deal. Uh, same thing with here. I, instead, I wanted this to be 80, not 79. So I'll change this 79 to an 80. And again, sometimes it glitches. Just have to be patient. All right. So now I have my uh, base, if you will, for my keychain. Now the thing about making a keychain is we don't have to have it too thick. So this keychain right here is actually only going to be two millimeters thick. Uh, that's plenty thick for a keychain. We don't really want anything bigger than that. Uh, there's another little feature here that uh, you could do. Like, there's a way that you can make the corners round, um, but I can show you how to do those things in class. Right now, I'm just going to give you the basics. All right, the next thing I want to do is add my name to the keychain. So, the first thing I want to do is change the work plane. Now, you'll notice right now the work plane is this uh, blue square right here. I actually want to make the work plane the top of my rectangle that I've made. So to do that, I'll click on the word work plane on the right, and then I'll click on top of my shape. When I do that, it now makes a new work plane the top of my shape. And if I scroll down here enough, you'll be able to see the shape is still sitting on the original work plane, but whatever object I bring in next is going to go on top of this rectangle. So I'm going to over here grab text. I'm going to bring this text out and set it on top of my rectangle. Um, the text, you can see, brings up another menu here on the right where I can do this little drop-down arrow and get more options. And I'm actually going to go in here and change the word text into the word Caleb. Alright, now that I've done Caleb, I can actually go uh, back in here and I can adjust features on Caleb. Again, I don't need it to be too thick. One millimeter is probably thick enough. Oops, I made a mistake there, so I'm going to undo that. So it's one millimeter thick. Um, I can also take a look and see, oops, I actually made it too thin, uh, so I'm going to adjust this. Instead of being one millimeter, I'm actually going to make this two millimeters thick. Yeah, it's a little bit glitchy, so let's see if we get it to work. Um, I do want to turn off this work plane, this temporary work plane, so if I tap on work plane again, and I just tap anywhere, it takes off that temporary work plane. And now you can see that the bottom part, that rectangle, will be a certain thickness. And then the word Caleb will be a different thickness. Now I do want to be able to put this on a key ring, so I'm going to resize the Caleb down just a little so it fits on there a little bit better. And I'm also going to drag the Caleb to one end, sort of like that. Now when I did that resize, you'll notice my Caleb changed its height just a little bit, but it still sticks up above the other part, so that's perfect. Uh, the last thing I want to do here is add a ring, and again, this is going to be just a clear cylinder. So at the top here, you can see these two grayed out areas. They're cylinder or box, but they are hollow. And so I'm going to resize this down to, oh, let's go about four, 
four millimeters by four millimeters should be good. And then I want to move this object into my rectangle so that I have that object placed there. All right. Now I would like to group these objects, but I'm still working out how to do that on an iPad. That's where I'm kind of struggling. So uh, if I tap on this button here, this grouping button, I don't know if you saw me do that, but I'm going to undo it quick. So I can tap on this object, and then this object, and then this object. So I have three objects selected. If I hit the group, which is a square with a circle coming off of it, it will now turn those into one object. And you can see that one object is a rectangle, and that one object has a, a hole in it for the keychain. Now, I do notice that it's not quite the hole, at least. It's not quite exactly formed in the right place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it, which is the square circle up here that's a part. And again, I can select the background, the word Caleb, and this circle and I get this option here it's a l upper right hand corner it's a uh, longer white rectangle and a shorter gray rectangle if I tap on that that is the alignment feature it gives me a couple of circles so I can tap on the center align on the left side to align Caleb with the rectangle with the hole and now while I still have those three things highlighted if I hit the group now I again I group them up as one object. So this is an extremely simple and basic tutorial. Obviously you can make your keychain a little bit neater. Uh, we, we're going to talk a bit about scale in class as well. So when you come into the Google Meet, we'll take a look at it and talk about scale. But for right now you can see that this is a, just a super simple keychain and that's what we're making today.